Hi, I'm Alan McCrabby at Sailing Company, and if you've ever been on our website, you probably noticed that we carry a large uh, array of different types of products. And so this video is going to be a little different today because we're going to talk about actually using two different products from two different places in the world uh, and combining them together to make some kind of a, a useful device. And so uh, what we've got here is we've got a temperature and relative humidity sensor that we're combining with a thermocouple data logger to create a relative humidity and temperature data logging system. Now this is a PC-based data logger, so we're going to be able to show you a number of things on the screen as we go along. Um, what, we're, what we're doing here is we're using a, a sensor made by a French company called UPSI. And they're basically a research company located in the area surrounding Paris. And the company is called uh, UPSI, as I mentioned, and it means the Unité de Production de Système Industriel. That's where they get UPSI from. And they're located in, in the place called Champigny-sur-Marne, uh, outside of Paris. And, um, they make, a, they make a wide variety of sensors based on some unique te technology and they can measure relative humidities when the temperature is actually below zero uh, centigrade. And part of the array of sensors that they make are some analog output sensors which are extremely easy to use. And the reason for that is because they have just two channel outputs going from zero to five volts. And they also make a, num a number of other sensors that have four to 20 milliamp current loop outputs, or they make raw sensors that you can interface, uh, you can design your own um, custom application for them and just plug them in. They're supposed to be uh, interchangeable and calibrated. There's more uh, information on the website as to how they actually make the sensors and look up www.upsi.fr and you can get more information on how these things are actually actually used. Now I mentioned that we're using a Pico technology a thermocouple logger and Pico is from Cambridgeshire England and they need almost no introduction we've been working with these folks for decades and this USB TC08 product is one of their most popular products, if not the most popular product. And basically what it is, is it, it's, a, it's a millivolt amplifier uh, that has 20-bit resolution and a 2 mega ohm input impedance. And so for something like the UPSI sensor, it's, it's almost ideal. The problem was is that how to interface the sensor to the uh, the TC08 logger and so what they've done is they brought out a new product called the PP624 which is a single channel uh, terminal board interface unit and this is the thing that really has expanded the use of the TC08 to things beyond thermocouples and you can see that it's got a number of different inputs and one of them happens to be exactly 5 volts or 0 to 5 volts and so, I mean, things couldn't be happier between the outputs of this sensor, which are 0 to 5 volts, and the input of this data logger using this device. So that's why I'm really excited about it. So what we did is we, we simply created a little interface box for this, which contains the excitation for the sensor. And we routed each of the outputs into its own terminal board input. Uh, interface thing here and then we use channels one and two on the data logger and we're getting out good numbers as as we can see here on the screen and um, so what we'd like to do now is just take a few minutes to look at the application in detail and see how we actually did this and if you're if you're already very familiar with using a TC08 unit then you don't have to watch this. But if you want to know how to set one of these up, um, then we'll be glad to show you in the, in the next portion of the video. But basically, all you really have to do 
is follow the instructions that are included with the terminal board option and use the information that you find uh, on the UPSI data sheet and specifically two parts right here. One is the, the pinout of the tiny little connector that's on the back of these units right here, which, is, which are labeled by the way, and also the transfer functions for both the temperature and the relative humidity. And before we go on to the next section of the video, I'll just mention that the, the units need a Molex milligrid connector to plug into the back of this unit. So uh, that's it for the, a brief introduction on the thing. And let's pause for a moment. We'll get the data logger set up so that it, we're acting like we're setting it up for the first time. And then we can show you how to actually make this whole thing work. All right, so we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.